Today we're leaving Leeds City Station. We're on a trip to Aworth to meet the Brontes. First stop on our trip today is Keithley. is Sultan. station is Keithley. Now that is the famous Keithley and Worth Valley Railway where a lot of the big Hollywood films have been recorded over the last years including the railway children this railway is operated by steam trains on a weekend. Well, it's Keithley bus station. We've got to take a bus now up to Hour. So the famous cobbled hill that leads to the Bronte village on our left. The Brontes. Since 1975, Haworth village has attracted over one million visitors each year. Most of them spend only a day when they visit, and British people form the majority. However, there are many visitors each year from such places as the USA, Japan, Canada, Australia and Holland. Why do so many visitors go to Haworth? They go because the Bronte family lived there. Patrick Bronte was born in Emdale, County Down Island. As a young boy, he worked for a linen draper, but later became a teacher, having taught himself to read in 1802. He went to Cambridge University, where he gained a degree in divinity. He held a number of curates positions before settling in Howard. It was while he was a curate of Hartset that he met Maria Branwell, who became his wife on the 29th of December, 1812. Patrick Branwell Bronte was born at Thornton on the 24th of June, 1817. He was slightly built and had red hair. He was regarded as being very clever. He too had a love of art and literature. He also enjoyed studying maps. He was very popular with the villagers of Haworth and made frequent visits to the Black Bull and the White Lion. And this is it, the famous parsonage where the Bronte family lived. In 1815, Patrick moved from Hartshead to Thornton, and it was there that Charlotte, Branwell, Emily and Han were born. In April 1820 the Brontes moved to Howard, where Patrick became the perpetual curate of St Michael's and All Angels. Maria Bronte died from cancer in 1821 at the age of 39. 
and Patrick's eldest daughters, Maria and Elizabeth, were taken ill with tuberculosis while away at the Cowan Bridge School. They died within a month of each other in 1825. Charlotte Bronte was born in Thornton on the 21st of April 1816. When she was four, the family moved to Haworth. She spent one year at Cowan Bridge School, but soon after Maria's death, her father brought her back to Haworth. In the autumn of 1848, the weather was cold. Emily caught a chill which developed into consumption. She insisted on carrying on with her household duties and even refused to see her doctor. Emily died on the 19th of December, 1848. After trying several jobs of his short life, Bramwell Bronte returned to Howard and began drinking heavily. He also took opium which he bought from the druggist shop in Hour. His condition deteriorated so much that at the age of 31, on the 24th of September 1848, he died of consumption in his father's arms. Branwell was buried in Haworth Church. Soon after Sister Emily's death, Anne was taken ill with consumption. Charlotte accompanied her to Scarborough, where on the 28th of May 1849, Anne died. She was buried at St Mary's Church, Scarborough, at the age of 29. Anne was the only member of the Bronte family not to be buried at Haworth. When Emily's book, Wuthering Heights, was first published in December 1847, it received poor reviews. Like her sisters, she used a pseudonym and wrote under the name of Ellis Bell, instead of using her own name. Anne's experiences as a governess were evident in her first novel called Agnes Grey which was published in 1847 under the name of Acton Bell. This was followed by her second novel in 1848 called The Tenant of Whitfield Hall. In 